Sensei Shimashita. Welcome to Reina Sensei Honorifics Part 2. Last time I talked about honorific suffixes that go at the ends of names and words like Okyakusama, Taiga-chan, Honya-san. Today I'm going to go into honorifics that can stand alone like our favorite senpai and when it makes sense to use them. First, let's talk about sensei. You may immediately think it means teacher, which it does in most cases, but it's also applied to doctors, lawyers, and masters of certain professions. For example, popular manga and light novel authors are called sensei as well, like Gosho Aoyama Sensei. Sensei in kanji literally means the one that comes before, so that totally makes sense. Now let's talk about Shisho. Shisho means master, and it's similar to sensei, but it's more formal and seen far less often. Shisho is used to express a high level of respect, however, I'm finding that a lot of anime is using Shisho to over-exaggerate a situation to help drive a light-hearted story, like Kirei-chan calling Umaru-chan Shisho even though she believes Umaru is younger, or in a Rekka battle when Gantetsu calls Fire-kun Shisho even though Gantetsu is clearly like the bigger one that does martial arts. Next, we have Hakase. Hakase is usually translated as professor, doctor, scientist, inventor, and the like. Basically, the way you would address somebody of high academic respect. Agasa Hakase from Meitan Deukona is my favorite Hakase. And finally, we have Senpai and Kohai. Senpai generally means upperclassman, basically someone that is more experienced than you and is generally older than you. Think mentor. Kohai is the inverse of senpai, meaning underclassmen. So if I was your senpai, you are my kohai. Kohai is used far less often than senpai because while senpai conveys a strong sense of admiration, so much so that the concept has become its own trope in anime, kohai lacks the sense of respect you generally see in honorifics. It's actually kind of useless in that aspect, so you generally use kohai when describing who that person is in relation to you. Konoko wa watashi no kohai desu, as in, she is an underclassman. The no in watashi no can notes possession like she belongs to me, but it's actually less romantic and more along the lines of, she's a younger friend of mine. There are other words like ojisan, nesan, and other familial honorifics that can be used even when you're not family. I'll explain that in further detail and when it's appropriate to use it in the next episode. In the meantime, why not watch a butt ton of anime to help brush up on your Japanese? It really does help to listen to Japanese when learning it. And if you want to be even more engrossed in anime, check out the omakase box. The link is in the description below, but you can also check out my unboxing video for it as well to get a better idea of what it's all about and you will not regret it. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys over on WTF Japan on Super Panic Frenzy in the meantime. Ciao, mata ne!